going to be guys, um, back to a first impression my channel. and review. Remember about to subscribe and like this video. Um, but um, shit. Damn, I'm gonna I can't do say shit first right. impression and review about the brushes. Oh, God. The brushes. These brushes. These are supposed to be, um, no, whatever. like, do you know I'm gonna do what the, I'm talking about? Do you know? Oh, my God. Okay. Like, girl, yes. This pregnancy is doing me well, too. So, I, the first thing these are supposed I'm to be do for the artiste get a brushes that you put on my hair back. But I'm pretty sure you know because they've been everywhere on Instagram and everything. So you but, yeah. Just to get in the way, you know. Excited, right? So, I'm going to try them out. You're going to see in the demo how they work, if they don't work. So, please keep watching if you want right, to see. So, I'm going to go in with two primers. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and the Rimmel State Matte. So these are the three, like, I mean the four for your face. Well, I will use these for my face. Um, this is the biggest one. I love that it's purple. I'm gonna, having a lot of burps because soda. But this one looks like it'll be a good match. But I don't know. I, um, I'm gonna try this one on this side of my face and then i'm going with the no i don't like this one so i'm going with the medium one these don't have names no numbers so uh, i'm gonna go in with the third smallest one and the biggest one to see which one works better so i'm just gonna dot this in my face looks like this the only thing that i don't like is that they're kind of flimsy like i don't know if you can see that but they move this thing could break easily like i don't know if you can see that like it bends like it's bending so you're gonna have to grab it from like the back here to keep it steady oh hmm. oh that's not that bad Oh, that's not bad. Hmm, I kind of like this. Okay, um, I did. I do feel like it kind of picked up some of the foundation into the brush, like. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the other side of my face and see how the other brush works. Cause I like the big brush. Let me take off my piercing. I like the big brush, but I feel like it's too big. So let's just see how this works. And if this one is more coverage since it is more smaller and I could work with it better. It's the um, same thing. Oh, this. Mm. I actually like this. It's like really fast to work with. Like all you gotta do is just this. All you gotta do is this. Wow. Oh, I think I like this brush a lot. All right, so now I'ma just add some foundation to my forehead. And I'm going with the same brush that I use. The small one, not the big one. Now you're gonna do is just like if you're painting your face, like literally. Yeah, I really love this one. Um, the big one, I think if I have a bigger face, or if you have a bigger face than I do, my face is pretty big. I have a big head. Um, this would be a good brush to use, but I really like this one because it's not so big and it's not so little. So now I'm gonna go in with um, my concealer and there's like this one. 
I wish these had names or numbers so you could just like point it out. I think I'm gonna like wrap with um tape like and number it one, two, three. But yeah, I think um yeah, I'm gonna use this one. So this one's like a really small one. And I'm gonna use this for concealer using my Maybelline Master Conceal. And then going in with obviously, y'all seen this millions of times. So instead of going in with the small one that I was gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with this one, which is the fourth one out of the biggest ones. And I'll just blend this. Oh my God, do you see how good this shit blends? Like look how fast it blended. I like these. Oh my god, this literally take. Oh my god. Okay, it's kind of. It's kind of. Like it's yeah, it's taking off some of the concealer. Um. really like the way it's blending for my concealer yeah I don't know if you can see this but it's it's really patchy and not blended well I think some hairs are falling off yeah a hair fell off and it just shredded okay I don't like this for concealer like this literally did nothing I'm going with more of my concealer because it literally just picked up my concealer and just removed it out of my face so now i'm just gonna blend it i think this is better for like foundation but either way i will always use a beauty sponge to blend my concealer so now i'm gonna do my contour and i'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me the foundation stick and I use this to contour. This is in the color coconut Alright, so for this I am gonna go with this small one it's really little and I'm gonna use this to blend out my contour Ooh. Ooh. okay I think I put too much um, oh yeah I put too much contour on my forehead oh my god I look like a Oompa Loompa Okay, that's not looking right. I'm gonna just kinda. So now I'm gonna blend out my contour. Okay, I think when you use these brushes, you should apply a little bit of foundation and a little bit of everything because I feel like since all you have to do is just um, go in cir circle motions, like it gives it, it, gives it more... Um, It gives them more coverage since you're not just um, removing it. I'm gonna try with the foundation brush. It's 
to blend this out yeah i feel like these add um so much coverage like you only need to use i'm using the really really small thin one to blend out my contour i never had my contour this harsh guys this looks pathetic Okay, for sure to set my under eyes, um, I don't think any of the brushes will work, um, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to try the one that I use um, with my contour, and I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and just add. with the biggest one and see if that sits okay I feel like these brushes are not for setting these are more for like foundation yeah yep so I'm just gonna go in with my brush and just set now for uh, my bronzer to set that um, cream contour I'm gonna go in with the NYC bronzer color reel and with this one I hate that I have to say this one this one this one because y'all are getting confused um, I'm using only the four brushes like the big brushes so the only ones I'm using are like the big face brushes I haven't yet used the little ones I don't think I'm really gonna get a use out of those so I'm really not using them um, I feel like these brushes are not for powder I'm gonna do my eye makeup I honestly don't think the the little brushes like these I don't think I'm gonna get a use out of these to be honest um, other than these right here which is one two three four five six so more than half of what it comes with i think like the big big brushes like this one and then the nose contouring one that i'll use for nose contouring the biggest one the littlest one of the face the medium one and then the smallest to medium one i think these are really good um i really like these i like the way they blended my foundation it was this way i really love this one for my foundation they do shed. I'm starting to see a lot of shedding after I use them now. But I really love this for my foundation. It made it so flawless looking. And like I, it applied so fast. So I mean. A company why? named U Unimix. Unimix. I don't know. I'll put it somewhere in the screen. But they have sent them to me to review them. Um, and I haven't um, used brushes like these like this is my first time trying brushes like you know i'm pretty sure you've seen this everywhere so yeah i didn't um i was gonna buy some but then they contacted me and i was like hey yes sure i'll do a review for you so then i was like all right so then i tried them and i'm kind of iffy about them to be honest but since these um there's more in here but i'll get into that but since these are like like less than 20 bucks um they're kind of they have their cons and pros so i'm gonna go in with the pros first so 
obviously. I love the purple, you know, it's really girly. It's it's not simple, it's really pretty and you know. Um, I love how they're really soft. Like I wish you could touch them, like touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. They blend really good. Some of these brushes, uh, there was a lot that didn't work for me, but the brush that I used to apply my foundation left my foundation looking so flawless. I applied this so quick. Like all you had to do was go like this. Like you literally just had to like paint it on your face. Um, you didn't have to like dab it or like you know blend everything. Like no, this blended everything with just swiping it all over your face. This worked for also blending my contour and blending everything that I need to blend. Like this was like a multitasker. Like, yeah, it was this one. I tried to use this one to blend my concealer, and it was just horrible. It was too streaky. I didn't like it. Um, it kind of, like, all the concealer, like, was on the brush. Like, it absorbed all my concealer. So, I had to go in with my beauty sponge and blend that out. So, I don't think, if I'm going to be using all these brushes for a full face of makeup, I don't think I should go in with my beauty blender. Like, you know? I used for my foundation so I think this will all come in handy like just in case you know you can never have just one brush. so the ones in here which they all came together I just put them in here it's one two three four so I have these four right here these are supposed to be um I don't know the eye brushes and stuff I think this one you see how really thin and dense it is I think this one was supposed to apply your um eyeliner but when you you really think i'm gonna apply eyeliner with this brush no thank you i use liquid liner so like it wouldn't make sense for me to use this brush so i didn't like this one then these right here no wait wait these circle ones like do you see that like they're so dense like i don't know what i would use these for Like, I really don't know what I would use these for. Um, so, these were a no for me. And then, the last two eye brushes, or whatever, they look like the ones that I showed you to apply your eyeliner. But, I don't, I like these ones because they're, they're longer and they're more um, dense. I like these ones because I feel like you can apply your no nose contour so perfect with these ones. So like you can even blend it out and everything. Um, okay, so what I do have to tell y'all is if you're gonna use these brushes, you need to put less foundation on, foundation on. If you cream contour, put less than what you will put if you were using your um, beauty sponge or your brush, um, you know, your brushes or whatever, because it was a biatch to blend everything out because I applied so much because with my beauty sponge, you know a beauty sponge when you're pouncing on your face, it's blending it together but it's also absorbing so you won't have like a cakey face. These brushes just blend everything that you have in your face and if you, and if you, when you see in the demo, my face looks like a freaking Oompa Loompa because I put too much. So I learned that you only need to apply a little bit or start from a little bit and then go your way up, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so now going into the cons. I can say a lot about this, but I'm going to be nice, you know? Cons. So for the cons. Uh, so for the cons. When I was applying my foundation and, you know, blending everything using these brushes. When I was using all these brushes, I seen shedding. I seen shedding. So, like, right now, I don't... Hold on. Like, if you look at this brush, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think you can see it. But it has a hair sticking out. So, I'm just going to pull it. Just um, kind of shedded. Like when I was applying my concealer and blending it out, I did feel like hairs were on my face, so I had to like remove it. So yeah, the first thing that I noticed was that they kind of shed. They didn't shed a lot. It was just probably like one brush that I used that shed it. So.
so yeah you probably need to give them a, a good good wash i didn't wash them before i used them so that's probably why okay now for the second thing oh yeah i already told you if you're gonna um if you're gonna use these brushes use less than what you will put on your face because these are really um these are really easy to blend but if you put too much it's not gonna blend well all right so yeah those are th that was pretty much the cons i didn't really have a lot to say about the cons i mean i did but i kind of forgot but the only thing that i was really gonna say it was about the shedding if you apply too much don't apply too much when you're using these brushes because they will not blend good you're gonna look like a oompa loompa and yeah the third was that i don't like the eye brushes so i wouldn't recommend um I mean, if you could use the eye brushes for, like, a gel eyeliner or, you know, like, I, I don't know. I just feel like I couldn't use the eye brushes, so I think those were not worth it. The only ones that I think are worth it were the face brushes. Those are really good. They made my face, like, my, I mean, my foundation blend so good into my skin. I really like those, so, yeah, I would give those a try. But other than that, I like these brushes. The only thing I don't like is the eye brushes and... Yeah, and I mean, obviously, they're fucking purple, so who are not gonna love these? But, yeah, that was my review. Um, I had mixed feelings about these, but, I mean, to be honest, the one that I'm gonna keep using, where's it at with that? Is this baby right here, because this blending my foundation is so beautiful, I still can't get over it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for this review. If you want to purchase these and, um, you know, give them a try for yourself, I'll put the... Uh, link below on my description box everything's on my description box just in case yeah i miss anything um so yeah they're only 19.99 so i mean if you want to give them a try they're they're not that expensive um i personally like them i just don't like the eye brushes so yeah if you want to give them a try please give them a try and let me know about the feedback and thank you for watching